Welcome to the Career Advisory Lesson. I'm Mr. Danaher, the Career Counselor at Weathersfield High School. In this lesson, we are looking at the importance of being focused and present. We wanted to find out if there was a magic ingredient to instill these essential skills in teams. We talked with a college athletic director, a Weathersfield Park and Rec manager, a 2014 Weathersfield High grad who is now a news anchor at Fox 61 and a college professor. Being present, looking people in the eye, listening more than you talk is so vital because it makes people actually know that you care about what they're saying. For me, when someone's present, it means they've come prepared to my office or they've come prepared to my meeting. Um, that individual is ready to work on whatever task it is. For me, being present means having your total focus. And that means not being distracted by other people, your phone, what happened last night. I think it's important to be in the moment and really listen to the person that you're having a conversation with. Look them in the eye. I understand that you know maybe what I'm saying isn't the most interesting thing they've ever heard, but it's rude and they're likely to miss out on something important, especially since they might be tested on something that I have to say. The people, you can tell, the people who really value what a teacher is saying don't have the phone out. I mean, they might for an emergency or whatever, but then they put it away and they actually care. Um, and you get so much more out of it when your attention is undivided. I get a call from someone who had driven by a playground that tells me that all of, or a number of my camp counselors are sitting around a picnic table on their phones and only one of the counselors is actually watching the kids at the playground. Um, that's, you know, thoroughly annoying. So then, you know, the staff meeting after that really kind of ripped them all up and threatened their job saying, I am only asking for you to you know, focus for six hours a day, and, and I need you to be paid to focus for six hours a day. And you can't connect with somebody or learn anything about somebody if your mind's somewhere else. If both of us can just put down what it is that we need to do, that we can then work together quickly and efficiently to solve what we're trying to fix, um, as opposed to me sitting in that person's office or standing in their doorway, getting interrupted, getting around the, the issue or the error and, and not being able to really satisfy the problem because it might take double the time and we don't always necessarily have that time in order to fix the problem. Being present and listening is something that I'm always working on because especially in our business when I'm interviewing somebody I'm always listening for a sound bite so I'm always listening to the next thing that you're going to be saying so I can listen for that eight second sound bite that we're going to put on the news. Uh, if I'm trying to meet with someone and the phone is out and there's more of this, you know, checking that phone every two seconds, that part of technology that we all live with has made being in the moment, being focused, so much more difficult. I'm going to recommend the student who wasn't texting in my class, not the student who was distracted all the time. And I don't know if they, if they're aware of that or thinking about that, but there's just all sorts of, of bad things that can happen if you, you don't focus. They're paying to have their children taken care of and the, the focus should be on that. Safety is huge and if you're distracted, you know, our safety is not where it should be. I think the consequence is, is the fact that that other person knows that you don't care, that you're not there. And for me, I think that's the biggest consequence is the fact that there's been a million times people in my family, friends, whatever, who have come up to me to try and talk to me and it's been one of my flaws. Not being present, not listening, not you know that glazed over look that it's just obvious you don't care or you're not listening. And the fact that that other person knows that and knows that you're not really there, or that you don't care, or that you're not, you don't have time for them or whatever, that's consequence enough, knowing that you've hurt somebody else. 